Good morning. We are back for another adventure today. I'm on Lake Conway. The sun is rising. I'm on the lake a little bit later than I want. It's about 7.10. I wanted to be here about 6 a.m. But, man, I was so sleepy last night. And I have some uh, sinus issues going on. So I'm a little stuffy and congested. <laughs> so I slept just a little bit extra. You know what I'm saying? And I forgot my dang sunglasses. But other than that, it's going well. So uh, we just got on the water. Um, I'm in my new Bonafide EX123 or 123 or whatever you want to call it. Man, the seat is super comfortable. Supposedly you're able to stand up in this boat. I haven't tested it out yet. I'm on a, a deeper lake and it's uh, really stained. And so I really don't want to test out the stability on it on this lake for se. Just because it's kind of gross. We are going to go do some bass fishing this morning. Hopefully I didn't start too late and the bite will still be good. Main thing, I wanted to test out this kayak and uh, see how it performs before I take it on a huge venture. But we got our PFD on, got the cameras rolling, uh, I got my two poles behind me. We're going back to the basics. Two setups, something I can drag bottom and something I can crank. That's all I'm doing today. So, uh, so far I'm super impressed with the boat itself though and I can't wait to uh, really get it wet per se. We're gonna get a line wet. And I'll catch you here shortly. Fish on. There's a the fish. Uh, he's not fighting him a lot. It's a small one. A little bass. Sorry, I'm gonna be drifting a little bit. Oh, you know what? I forgot. My dang pliers. I'm just out of it, man. He's ten inches. Cute little fella. That's been... By Chris in the boat though. That's all that matters. But we don't we haven't developed the pattern yet, so <laughs> I wouldn't change anything yet. If I catch another one though, that might tell us something. The uh KVD 1.5. At first, I thought I was hung up. It was so small, I didn't think I had anything on there. I was like, what the heck? Hey, uh, the next few weeks, though, I was thinking about taking off like a Friday and doing an overnighter on the buffalo, especially with these cooler temps. Fish. Another small one. All right, might be a pattern, man. You might have to. <sighs> this one's a little longer. He looks like an inch longer. I don't think it's the same one, surely not. <laughs> Hopefully, that fish ain't that dope. Another one on the crankbait. Well, that was weird. You see that? That was funny. All right, well, can't ever go wrong with this dude in stained water. But like, if we saw like a lot of uh, shad popping, you know, like a school swimming. Remember when you can see all those schools swimming around? It's just like a big blob. Um, then if we see that activity in the cove or something, we definitely want to throw something white on, you know, real quick. There's a fish. Okay. Yeah, so they're not wanting the worm right now. This one's pulling me a little bit. He's not big, same size, but he's a little healthier. Oh gosh, don't shake, don't shake. Don't shake. 
Okay, I think it's a pattern. <laughs> For sure. This is the biggest one yet. He's 13 inches and maybe a half a pound. Booyah. <laughs> Still healthy fish, though. It's number three on the KVD 1.5. Oh, right there. Is that a shad or is that a bass? It's a bass. What the? <laughs> you're, you're to your boat. Wow. There you go, man. Fish is fish. Fish on, fish on, it's a small one. I got one on the hook. Oh. It's a nice one, biggest one of the day. Right there. Oh jeez, come here. There's another one jumping in front of me too. Nice. I just used that Kitek. Uh, I think it's a four inch white swimmer. Oh yeah. He's probably like 14 inches, maybe a pound and a half. Let's get another one real quick. Alright. I don't know where that school went to. He didn't fight too hard. I didn't think I had one at first, and then uh, st he started pulling. There's another one. Ooh, this one feels bigger. Ugh. Jason, found a school. There's another one. That's two in that one little shad school there. Kitek, pearl white swimmer. They're getting chunkier. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get another one. Where's the big ones at? Whale poop. I have lost the school, lost the shad, the wind's picked up, and can't figure out where they're swimming. It's too much uh, commotion on the water now. I can't find it. They might have been blown over to the other shoreline, though. That was awesome, though. <laughs> That's so fun when you get into a school of fish. I was, I was hoping I could unhook them faster and try to pull out a bigger one. But those smaller ones are pretty aggressive. That was still pretty sweet though. So since I have a moment by myself, I'll go ahead and tell you about this uh, Bonafide Expedition 123. And uh, the tracking is really good actually, surprisingly. At first, I was just kind of lightly paddling. It wanted to hook to the left every time I stopped paddling. But once I got it to speed, per se, kind of a good paddle stroke, it holds its uh, straight line really well. Super stable, haven't had any problems with it today as far as stability goes, bringing in those bass. I didn't stand in it. Like I said, this is a dirty lake, stained water. I can't really see what's underneath me as far as stumps or logs go. So I didn't really want to risk that today. But if I go to the buffalo or some clear water, I'll definitely test out the standing performance. But as far as tracking and how light the boat is, and it's really fast too. It's Once I get up to speed, it's uh, very swift in the water. I'm very happy with it, and it's definitely worth my purchase for sure. Time will tell, but right now the seat is amazing. I mean, this seat is so comfortable. I haven't had any back problems or uh, any sciatic nerve issues sitting in the seat. So, of course it is a sit-in. You're gonna have some pros and cons with it being a sit-in, but right now there's a lot of pros to it. And I can't wait to go on the next adventure with it. But today we're calling it a little short. I'm gonna get home and go spend time with my family. Today is uh, uh, the holiday, Labor Day. So I'm going to get home and uh, spend some time with them. It's about 10.30 a.m. So we're going to spend the rest of the day with them. Do some grilling. And maybe take them fishing this evening. Shoo! 
It got hot in a hurry out there. Man, it's uh, about 10.30 and it's already 86 degrees outside. It feels like it's 95. So it's not as hot as it has been, but it's getting there quickly. Plus, there's no clouds in the sky. It's just sun just beaming down your face the whole entire time. I had three good bites right out of the gate, you know, and then uh, on that KVD 1.5. And after that, an hour or so later, went on before I got another bite. And the only reason I got another bite is I saw some shad, like a shad ball just moving around out in the cove. And I started kind of chasing around a little bit, seeing if there's any fish on them. And uh, as soon as I got to it, they, uh, the fish started popping around it. So I casted that uh, um, pearl white Kitek swim bait in there and got back-to-back -back hits. I got back-to-back -back bass on. Then after that, the wind picked up and we totally lost the skull. We couldn't see them anymore on the surface, you know, just kind of making their little ripple trail. And uh, I didn't see them after that. We kind of waited around. The wind died a little bit, but I don't know where they got blown to, but we lost them at that point. So anyways... So I got, I paid five dollars at the boat ramp and caught five fish, so a dollar fish. I don't know if that's a good ratio or not, but uh, this is this hot summer days, you know, it's just how it's going to be during this time of year, but uh, I'll take five fish any day, uh, you know, end of August, that's for sure. I'm going to get home, get showered up, get the bona fide under some water and clean off that, uh, I got a nice little rim around it, you know, that little scum rim. So I'm going to clean that off and make it all shiny and new again. Well, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next adventure. Mm -hmm.